Here we are high on a hill above Bulford near Stonehenge where people are working. This is the site of a new housing estate but you know these people aren't builders they are archaeologists. It is incredibly important that they get to finish their work before the building begins. The archaeologists are digging to find traces of Stone Age people. The clues tell us how these people lived at a time when Stonehenge itself was being built. It's very slow work and the archaeologists must work very carefully. They mustn't miss anything. Right on the bottom of this one we've got an incredible selection. We've got there a chisel arrowhead, here another of our flint spheres, a massive scraper, a beautiful little axe, another scraper and a red deer tine. This is an incredible collection of material and the important thing is that they are just exactly like so many of the other pits here. It's as though people have got a checklist and they're placing objects into the pit. Now I want to take them out so they're ready to go. Oh, what is it going to look like on the other side? Beautiful, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful bit of polish, oh gorgeous, gorgeous. Here we see somebody actually making a flint axe. It's a process called flint napping. The flint napper is using a round hammer just like the spear we saw in the pit. Flint is very sharp. So please don't try this yourself. It took the flint napper about 12 to 15 minutes to make this axe. Here we have speeded up the film so you can see the complete process from start to finish. The flint napper is very experienced and makes it look very easy. He's made many axes before and knows precisely what shape this one will be when he's finished. His eyes watch as every piece of flint is removed and his ears listen to tell whether the blow was successful. The flint napper is thinking all the time, holding the flint in his fingers, making sure every blow falls in exactly the right place before letting the pieces of flint fall to the floor. Notice how he uses lots of quick taps to trim the edge before removing larger pieces to shape and thin the block of flint it really is beginning to look like an axe. It's very likely that almost everyone living in a stone age would have been able to make flint tools, although some people are more likely to have been more skilled than others and would have been considered far more important because of these skills. The axe is now nearly finished. The flint napper is removing the last bits of flint at actual speed. Sit back and enjoy the craftsman at work as he finishes the job. The finished axe looks very similar to the one found in the pit, but it's still not quite finished. The blade has to be ground and polished to create a regular cutting edge. Here the blade of the axe is being rubbed against a sandy sharpening stone. It's a very long job. It may take as much as 20 hours to finish the axe, but this bit of film shows you how it may have been done. If we add a wooden handle to the axe head, the finished implement is something that we can all recognise as an axe. 
but one last thing. The time and skill it took to make the axe makes us realize that they were very important objects in the Stone Age. But what were they used for? Here you can see how the axe could be used to cut wood. This stake may be only the first of many that form the frame of a house. It might become your home. But there are other ways the axe may have been used. Maybe it was so valuable that it was given as a gift to someone who was a very important person, perhaps a visiting chief. The axe may have been exchanged for other goods. Remember the people in the Stone Age had no money like we do now, and it may be that axes and other objects were used instead.